a chance to work with patients with Alzheimer's disease was what first motivated me to even do this research uh, in the first place. So seeing how difficult this disease is, not only for the patients, but certainly at least as much for their families and their caregivers, um, made me really excited to join a lab that was working towards finding cures and treatments. Funds have actually already been very useful for me, so uh, a lot of the work I do involves developing new, um, uh, new ways of, of looking at, at uh, DNA damage and new ways of imaging it with a microscope. And sometimes that takes a lot of uh, buying a lot of tools and reagents and, and just testing them and seeing what, what works and what doesn't work. Um, and so I've already been able to, to test a lot of antibodies, for instance, and to see how, how best to image, uh, to view double strand breaks in mouse and human tissue. Um, and so I think, but sort of more generally, the, these funds are really allowing me to pursue the, the, the questions I have with the most current technology. Uh, the most current technology, the best reagents, and in the most rigorous way possible. Um, and my eventual goal is to take this forward and to develop a larger, uh, an independent research program that I can um, like start my own lab as faculty somewhere where I can still continue to see patients with dementia, but also have my own uh, research group uh, answering questions. One of the things I've, I've become interested in uh, since joining the lab is better diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. So uh, when patients come into the clinic, oftentimes when you're first seeing a patient, you have no idea what they have and it can be really hard to make a diagnosis, especially if they're just developing some early symptoms. And if you want to start a treatment, ideally you want to start it as early as possible so that the sooner we can recognize and diagnose things like Alzheimer's disease and other dementias, the sooner we can start treatment. So in collaboration with one of the genetics labs uh, here at UCSF, I'm working on developing um, new ways to detect Alzheimer's disease and other dementias in the blood. So the idea, of the eventual idea, sort of the pie in the sky idea is that one day a patient comes into the a dementia clinic, has their blood drawn and we can make a diagnosis sort of right off the bat. things that get me most excited are certainly what I'm working on which is DNA damage and Alzheimer's disease but there's a lot of that same research going on elsewhere and I think that to me that's what's most exciting so how is uh, how is DNA affected in Alzheimer's disease and how does that how does that affect the health of the neurons that it's in um, I think it's a it's a pretty new area in Alzheimer's disease especially looking at these double strand breaks to specific type of DNA damage uh, and I think it's an exciting area because I think it's it offers promise for a new way to to intervene therapeutically